How you doing? This is Ron Leo, and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, childhood. Childhood's a fun time because you get to do things and get away with it uh, where you can't as an adult. <clears throat> so um, when you're a child, or when I was a child anyway, I, I like to push the envelope and uh, piss off adults. And um, one time. Uh, I had a brother-in-law who was kind of um, a jokester, and he had this uh, fake piece of crap. It was made out of plastic, but it looked like a real piece of crap. And uh, he gave it to me, so I, I brought it to school, and um, I, I wanted to do something with it, but I wasn't sure, because uh, I, I wanted to make sure whatever I did, because he only had one try at it, because um, I knew it would be taken away. I wanted to make sure it counted. So I, um, I, I held on to it for about a week until um, I actually did anything with it. And uh, I, I put it on my teacher's chair and <laughs> he, he looked at it. <laughs> And I, I didn't know if he would look at it before he sat on it or if he would just sit on it or what. But he looked at it It took the chair and put it out in the hallway and then came back in and got another chair and sat down. And I'm like, why didn't he say anything to anybody? So I, I go back out there and it's still on the chair. Um, and... He <laughs> took it off and put a real piece of crap on the chair. So I picked it up and it was all in my hands. And um, apparently he was a pr practical joker too. And he, uh, he pulled one out on me. Um, so maybe he had that done before. And, uh, <laughs> but that, that was a lesson learned for me um, as a kid that you, your jokes can backfire. And... Um, I, I was eight years old at the time, and it, it blew my mind when I got crap all over my hands. So, um, if you're a kid and you listen to this and you pull a practical joke on your teacher, just remember, he's been there, done that, and he's going to get you. <laughs>